unveiling the epic story of Shango and his three wives, the god of fire and thunder. Get ready to delve into the captivating legend of Shango, the powerful king bestowed with thunderbolt stones and known as the god of fire and thunder. In this video, we will follow Shango's journey as he weds his first wife, Oba, and later welcomes Oshun and Ohia into his life. Witness the twists and turns in their relationships, the challenges they face, and the tragic fate that befalls them. Brace yourself for a historical adventure filled with love, power, betrayal, and divine outcomes. Join me as we uncover the tale of Shango and his three wives. Many years ago, in the land of Nupe, a great and powerful king named Shango emerged. Gifted with thunderbolt stones by his grandfather, he possessed the ability to summon thunder from the sky. Recognized as the god of fire and thunder, Shango's anger could cause fire to erupt from his mouth. As his powers grew, his mother advised him to honor and respect every beautiful woman he encountered. Shango's first encounter with love came in the form of Oba, a young and vibrant woman who danced just like him. They fell deeply in love and eventually tied the knot. However, after years of barrenness, Shango longed for an heir and sought permission from Oba to take a concubine. One fateful day, while returning from a friend's place, Shango came across a hut with an irresistible aroma wafting from it. A stunning lady, Oshun, emerged from the hut, and their connection was instant. Shango brought her home, but as his affection for Oshun grew, tensions between her and Oba escalated. Oshun believed her children would be the rightful heirs and despised Oba. During a visit to the market, Shango caught sight of the most enchanting woman he had ever seen. Captivated by her beauty, he followed her until he witnessed her transforming into an antelope before disappearing. Astonished, he sought guidance from Orunmila, who revealed the truth about this mystical lady. Intrigued, Shango desired her but was warned about her terrifying rage. In a bid to make Ohia his own, Shango obtained her fur from a cunning trick and brought her home. Although neither Ohia nor Oshun were official wives, Ohia became known as Shango's third wife by popular belief. Resentment toward her grew among the other wives as news of Shango's strength and power spread throughout the Yoruba land. When Shango was summoned by the Alafin of Oyo, King Ajaka, he learned of the treacherous plans of the Oluwo of Owo. Determined to protect the Yoruba kingdom, Shango fought alongside Ohia against their enemies. Their victory led to Shango being crowned as the fourth Alafin of Oyo, with Ajaka sent into exile. Shango's wives were feared throughout the land, and his power seemed unstoppable. Within the palace walls, the envy and discord amongst Shango's wives intensified. To win Shango's affections, Oba approached Oshun for advice, unknowingly falling into a heartbreaking trap. Oshun deceived Oba into believing that adding pieces of her ear to Shango's soup would solidify his love. However, when Shango discovered the ear in his soup, he assumed Oba was trying to poison him, and he banished her from the palace. Heartbroken and desperate, Oba found solace on a tree stump, weeping until she transformed into the river goddess Oshun in Oshun State, Nigeria. Meanwhile, Shango discovered Oshun's betrayal and chased her out of the palace in a fit of rage. Devastated by Oshun's fate, she too ended her life and became the river goddess Ohia, the goddess of fertility. As Shango's power and ego grew, he appointed two powerful generals, Timi Agbala and Gabonka, to guard the border towns. However, Ohia, filled with fear and jealousy, urged Shango to eliminate them. The ensuing confrontation led to Timi's death and a fierce battle between Shango and Gabonka. In a tragic turn of events, Shango used his thunderbolt stones, but their potency was compromised, resulting in a catastrophic fire that claimed the lives of his children and Loyal guards. Blamed by his people for the disaster, Shango was expelled from the kingdom of Oyo. Alone and filled with sorrow, he set off on a journey with Ohia and a few trusted chiefs. In Koso land, Shango confronted and defeated Gabonka, avenging Timi's death. However, the battle took its toll, and Gabonka's demise marked the end of Shango's reign. Ohia, devastated by the loss of Shango, also met a tragic end.